just a life. I just a life of a dead eye. Football at USC Aiken has been very memorable for me. Um, the most memorable year being that of the 2014-2015 soccer season for uh, men. It's the most memorable for numerous reasons. Not just that it's the year that the school had the most successful record, or it's the year that I had the most accolades that I've ever received throughout my tenure at USC Aiken. But the team itself was different, very diverse with several players from all over the world, ranging from North America, America, South America, the Caribbean, Africa, Europe. We all came together with one common goal speaking one language, that of football, or as we call it here, soccer. The entire season is definitely one to remember playing on the field, but off the field it was fun as well. For example, my roommate for two years, Gabriel Lotto, came from Brazil, didn't speak a ounce of English apart from hello or goodbye, but yet still he was able to go ahead and develop a rapport and that developed into a brotherhood with not just me, but the other Jamaicans that lived in our apartment with us. And ironically, he would understand the Jamaicans, but not the Americans, which everyone <laughs> found very funny. But it's experiences like that, that build character, not just for the individuals, but the family-oriented structure that we had was developed more and more each day. And on the field, there's numerous examples as well. We weren't perfect as Jan Western and Andre Simmons. Hmm. They were always at it, but whenever called upon to produce, they never faltered. Um, I remember even Andre Simmons as a freshman coming in, um, as chasing the leading goal scorer title. And we received a penalty kick and me being the designated penalty kicker, I was able to look past the fact that, hey, this is my penalty and I'm obligated to take it. And I was able to give it to him to allow him to put his name on the score sheet for the first time that season. And that developed into relationships that can't be undone as it's not just one or two or three, where you'd have different cliques. With that 2014-2015 team, the entire team functioned collectively as a unit. We'd have our normal family scrubbles, but it was nothing serious, nothing that would deter us from being successful. And it was that drive, that unity, that enabled us to be as successful as we were. So I'd like to say um, a big thanks to all my teammates and definitely all the fans, as it wasn't just those who trained and played. Um, the spectators, the one and only Giovanni Rims, the Teddy Tubbies, you guys are definitely unforgettable, as for each goal that we scored, we were able to run into the stands and celebrate with you guys who were always present. And that's a big thanks. So it's not just memorable for the squad. It was memorable for the squad, the spectators, and ideally the university. As the most successful team to date, which hopefully will be surpassed in the future, is definitely something that I can take pride in being a part of. And as usual, I'd like to express the love um, towards my teammates as without you guys I wouldn't have achieved all that I have achieved and it was a good run and give thanks I just a life I just a life of a good life